Eye on MPI, brought to you by Adafruit and DigiKey. Lady, what is Eye on MPI this week? This week's Eye on MPI is from Authentrend, and uh, it's a USB security dongle that's FIDO2 compatible. And uh, folks who remember the series that I did on IoT security, um, one of the things that I really talked about was that you really want to have, you really don't want to roll your own like security management for keys. You don't want to store them. You don't want to like come up with your own encryption authentication system. Another thing is you, you really can't trust your microcomputer or microcontroller um, cryptographic storage internally. Like all we hear all the time, you know, whether it's online or at like, you know, Hope or other HackerCon or DEF CON or whatever, or CCC, is people cracking microcontrollers um, and getting keys out of them, secure keys. And so, um, you know, nothing is ever fully 100% secure, but a lot of times you can kind of outsource your security to um, a very specialized piece of hardware. I personally think that's the way to go, rather than trying to like hide the XOR keys inside your flash memory and then encrypting it, because um, all I've seen is that that doesn't quite work. So um, what I like about this is that um, this company makes like a couple piece of hardware and they, it's like the one thing they do and um, you know, they're designed for security. And um, what's neat about these is you can use them in your project. So this, there's four models, um, but this is the one I'll talk about. This is a fingerprint sensor enabled uh, FIDO2 USB key. So this is a USB-A key. There's also a USB-C version. Um, there's also, I'll show you, there's a card version with BLE and uh, NFC in it. There's a button, because sometimes you need a little button to like activate, but there's also a fingerprint sensor on the end. Um, and you can, you can program your fingertip on it. It doesn't take the whole fingertip, obviously, just like the, the middle part. Um, but you can use that as part of your authentication. So what's neat is I was able to use this um, with Windows. Um, I didn't get the one that's um, Windows Hello friendly. There's actually one that's specifically for Windows Hello. I got like the FIDO2 one. Um, but I said, okay, I wanted to add a security key, you know, plug into USB. And then you have to touch the fingerprint sensor. And if you have a phone with a fingerprint sensor, you know, like you touch it multiple times and multiple angles. Um, and then the little fingerprint kind of fills up and then it's like, okay, great. Um, it's all set. And then, um, you know, now it can be, you can add a pin code if you want to like have another um, thing for identification, but pretty much uh, this, the hardware now knows your fingerprint and will use that for authentication. Um, you can also use it to like test your, you know, you can, you can touch it to authenticate, to make sure it's you. Um, so that's good. And um, you also tried it was web, with WebAuthn, which is, you know, your Google account, for example. Um, you know, I have two-factor on my Google account. Um, so do you, yeah. I made another Google account to, to test this with. Um, but instead of using um, Google Authenticator app or Authy or SMS, you can actually use one of these dongles in your computer and um, with the, the fingerprint sensor as well. So in your Google account, turn on two-factor and then it'll, you know, it works with Oops. Windows, whoops, sorry, <laughs> exciting. Uh, it works with your um, Windows security setup, uh, you know, knows about the key. You touch the key and you, it matches your fingerprint and then um, you can add it and then whenever you have to two-factor in, uh, you can use um, you can have multiple, so you can have either the key or you can have it also like send you a text message or whatever. But I like this because it's like a physical thing. And so it kind of hits that like, you know, you want something you know, which is a password and a username, something you have, which is the key and something you are, which is the fingerprint sensor. So it's really protected against theft because like you need to steal a lot to get this. So it's like very high end security, like mil military level security, but it's like 40 bucks um, and it works with a lot of things. Um, and then this is what it looks like after it's um, set up. And, uh, oh, this is when I, you know, logged in. And it's like, okay, making sure it's you. And then it's like, boom, you're set. Um, so what's nice about this also is it uses the FIDO2 uh, specifications. So this was a consortium of companies. Um, you know, Google was part of it. And I think YubiKey also and a couple other companies. And they sort of came up with um, an open standard for how the FIDO and U2F um, USB keys and NFC and BLE interface work so that all the hardware kind of interworks with each other, but also all these companies agree that this is all a secure system. And so it's, I like that um, it's kind of an open standard. You don't even have to log in to download the specifications. Um, looking at you, BLE um, Bluetooth Consortium for making me have an account. You don't, you can just download them and 
implement and integrate this security into your product. So you know you may not want this for logging into Windows or Google, but you may be making a hardware product that needs really good biometric authentication. And you know we sell fingerprint sensors and everything, but you don't. They can't store private keys. They, you can't use them as part of a challenge response system. Um, to secure the account, to authenticate the account like securely. Uh, instead, I would tell people, use this. This is designed for it. And because it's USB, you can plug it into any single board computer. Um, and you probably could even port it to a microcontroller with, it, with a USB host um, because it's not that complicated. Um, if you want to interface with it you know, and you're not using uh, web authentic authentication. Uh, I actually downloaded, you know, in like five minutes I got this going, I downloaded Python FIDO2, which is... Uh, by YubiKey, who was part of the consortium. Um, I pip installed it, and then I ran um, get info, and it was like, yep, I identified the FIDO key that's plugged into your USB. And then there's a demo um, called like, you know, authenticate. And um, it worked, like, you know, it was like plug it in and you, and you touch it, and it will only um, print out the authentication data if you, if you touch it correctly with the correct finger and, and, and have the right dongle plugged in. And so this looks like it would be a very easy way to integrate into your um, existing product and it's like it's okay that it's all in Python because the challenge and response stuff it can be clear text and it doesn't matter because it's you know end-to-end -end authenticated from the host which has um, you know the matching uh, like challenge response like you know private key information um, and the device so you know that it's secure without having to worry about like dealing with all of that management yourself it's all kind of abstracted out by the the FIDO2 interface, which I like. Um, and, you know, I think that this is, um, this is the future. I think like passwords are over. Um, we're getting close to the point where, you know, people use their phones or their watches or USB dongles um, as a way of, of authenticating. And, you know, personally, I think like, we should probably not have passwords. Like we're not, it, it didn't really work out. Um, a little bit like tool chains. Like I'm really anti tool it got, chain. It got us here. Yeah, it got us but here. But it's time to evolve the next thing yeah it is i mean i have a password keeper and everything and it's secured and you know i could probably add this you know three factor yeah. to to my usb um to, i think to you USB just need to, to do to layers my... and layers that's how we, we we do the things here well some things are really important some things are not right so i think that um for the stuff that you really want to have secured and have biometric security um this is like a fingerprint sensor on a usb stick like the price is really good you get all that stuff and it's secured and it's usb yeah. And it works with the standard, and it's going to be way cheaper than um, trying to do it yourself in a product. So, yeah, there could be like, you know, we know people who've worked on kiosks for like the TSA. That's an example where you definitely want to have biometric security. You want to know who is logging in, and you shouldn't be able to use somebody else's password yeah. if you're accessing important data. Um, so I think, I think this, is, this is a good idea for people to add into their products. Okay. And we have a video, and then we're going to show the location of it on the DigiKey. And also show, I'll show it all the overhead, too. Okay, let me uh, do the video, and we'll see you on the other side. It's only a minute and a half. We live in a technology-enabled world, but there are times when technology lets us down. Take passwords, for instance. For users, they're clumsy, hard to remember, and they need to be changed all the time. For businesses, passwords just don't provide the security necessary to keep important data from falling into the wrong hands. With over 80% of corporate data breaches being caused by stolen or weak user credentials, the time for improvement in user authentication is now. And that's where the FIDO Alliance comes in. FIDO, or Fast Identity Online, is a consortium of the world's leading technology companies dedicated to changing the way online authentication is done. We're establishing technical standards that provide interoperable mechanisms that are far more secure and easier to use than passwords. From biometrics such as fingerprints and facial scans to second factor authentication devices, FIDO's standards are allowing companies and service providers to better serve their customers and employees. Core to the FIDO approach is a personal device, like a PC, smartphone, or security key that uses a set of cryptographic keys to securely access FIDO-enabled services such as Google, Facebook, or PayPal. FIDO authentication data, such as biometrics, is never stored with the service, which protects the user's privacy and shields their login credentials from hackers. But the best part is that users no longer have to choose between better security or a better user experience. With FIDO, they get both. Over 600 interoperable products have been FIDO certified, and FIDO enabling your product or service is easier than ever. 
Fido provides a set of universal specifications to build to and a rich ecosystem of products and services to enable turnkey deployment. Visit our website for more information on how to deploy Fido authentication today. With Fido, our technology... Okay. Okay, so this is... Um, I have two of the uh, devices. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. These are a little small. Okay, one second. Uh, sorry. Hello. Let me back it off a little bit. You can do it. Okay. Uh, so this is the um, NFC. I think this does NFC and BLE and USB. So it has, you know, you can do, yeah, you can see here the USB, BLE, and NFC. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but you can do um, USB okay. connectivity. Uh, it's also got NFC, so you can, you know, touch, you know, I guess you press your finger while you touch authenticate or BLE, so it's wireless and you can kind of see the card inside. It's a little thick, but it does fit in a wallet. Yeah. It's also got a button if you need to. Um, and then, um, you know, you put your finger in and you can use that to authenticate your finger um, biometrics. And then this is the USB dongle. Um, so for this, you can see there's this uh, fingerprint, a uh, capacitor fingerprint sensor on the back. Uh, like a little touchpad, but for fingerprints, and then a button, and then this is a USB C, and there's of course also have a USB A type. Okay, cool. And the best part about all this, it's available on DigiKey. Yes, and it's in stock. Yeah. Which Here's a nice. short URL, and there is the DigiKey. Yes, this is the A type, there. but they of course they have the C and that card. So you know, pick the one that makes sense for your application. But you know it's a standard, so it's like you can you give users whatever. If some users have a MacBook, they get the C. If some users have, uh, you know, a Windows Dell or a laptop or Linux desktop computer, uh, they can use the A. And uh, no matter what, they can they can interface with the uh, with the hardware. All right, and that's on MPI. Hi on MPI.